The next verse commonly used to argue against God being the author of sin is 1 John 2, 16, which says, For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes, the pride of life, is not from the Father, but from the world. This verse is used in attempts to refute the claim that God plans, purposes, determines, and even brings to pass by his sustaining power sinful things like pride and lust. But once again, what's the context? Is this verse speaking of God's metaphysical relationship to those things? Not at all. When the verse says that pride and lust are not from the Father, it's simply referring to God's commands. The previous verse said we are not to love the world. What does that mean? It's speaking of fallen sinful world, which is full of rebellion. Sin and rebellion are violations of the laws of God, which means that they are not coming from God in that sense. The next verse assures us that he who does the will of God, that is, obeys his commands, abides forever. So once again, the t context is the commands and the teachings of God. God does not command pride or lust. Those things do not come from him in that sense. But does the Bible say that such things come from God, at least in some sense? When Paul in Romans 11.36 says, From God and through God and to God are all things. From God are all things. What does that mean? Paul had just mentioned the sinful disobedience of Israel and even credits it to God by saying God has consigned them all to disobedience. And he concludes the chapter by saying, From God are all things. Obviously, Paul's use of from is a different context than John's. One speaks of coming from God ultimately, and the other speaks of coming from God within creation on the storyline level. Once again, if you refuse to acknowledge that distinction, then you're going to end up forcing the Bible into contradiction. Do you think the sinful disobedience of Israel included a little bit of pride and lust? Do you think when God hardened Pharaoh's heart, there was a little bit of pride involved there? As we have already covered, God says, I send them a strong delusion. I send them a lying spirit. I harden hearts, I blind eyes, so on and so forth. The Bible says all these things come, quote unquote, from God in the ultimate sense. And none of this contradicts 1 John 2.16. Is there a contradiction? Or is someone making false assumptions along the way?